back at it. Uh, starting off the day, I got like a one hour run, walk, walk, run, walk, run, because I always walk the first mile to loosen up. Walk, run, and then I've got some, uh, they just started new beginner yoga class. I'm the one guy that likes beginner yoga. I'm like, yeah, new beginner yoga class, I'll be there. <laughs> and now I'm three weeks in, so I'm kind of a veteran, but I like the beginner. It's just, I don't know. I just, I just want to stretch easy. I don't want a lot of aggressive stretching. It's just, it takes away from my other workouts. And so I got to get this hour in and then I got to, I'll get that in. And uh, I think, I, I don't know what my third workout will be today, but it'll probably be one of those two mile walks again. Uh, Cause I think I'm not lifting weights today or anything and swimming. I got to call my coach. Cause we're probably, I think our pool's open now. Uh, so I'll see if we're going to set up swimming this week. Cause I haven't the last two weeks because of the fire, I think our, you know, the pool was closed up there and the club was closed for a while. So be fun to get back at that with him. One other quick thing. My energy definitely feels better today. I think I'm getting my system all back in order from, uh, from the fast, from that, just that, that I think that one day I just ate so crappy, man. That binge day was I usually eat like pretty good and then throw crappy food on top of the good food. I think I eat crappy food all day, man. That's like poison. I won't do that again. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> but anyway, so my energy feels better. I feel a little, I feel a little more normal. And uh, I made a mental note too. It's like, you know, when you're doing this, whatever it takes diet, don't tell anybody. If, you, if any of you do the whatever it takes diet where you're fasting at the end of the week and doing don't tell anybody who knows anything about nutrition about this diet. Because <laughs> anytime I mention it, it's like they're going to go on and on and on about, you know, that ain't healthy. That ain't healthy. Well, I'll tell you, I'm getting skinny. And that's my main thing is I need to be skinny. And when I get skinny, I'm fast. Well, fast for me. Probably not fast for Kenyans, but fast for me. So it's a big deal, just getting skinny, whatever it takes. So yeah, if you start talking to people who know something about something, they're gonna, they're gonna look at you funny <laughs> and tell you all the reasons why not to. I'll tell you another thing. People in America are like used to seeing people fat too. Cause every time when you get fat, when I got up to 237 pounds, nobody says anything to you, like zero. But you start getting skinnier and it's like, you're not gonna get any skinnier, are you? You're not going to get any skinnier, are you? I go, yeah, I am. I'm going to get skinnier. I'm going to get so skinny. If I turn sideways, you won't hardly be able to see me. They're like, I don't know. I don't think that's good. It's so funny. How many people die of being skinny? It's very few who get bulimia or whatever those things are. That's very few. How many people die of things caused by being fat, like heart attacks and, you know, getting their cholesterol real high and, uh, you know, uh, high blood pressure and all these things that happen when you get when you get real fat. But our country wants to see us fat and does not want to see us skinny because, yeah, nobody says anything when you get fat. But as soon as you start getting skinny, it's like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> You're getting so skinny. <laughs> so I want to hear people say how skinny I'm getting because that means I'm getting that means I'm getting in race weight. Yeah, love it. All right. Halfway through my run, a little sluggish. Uh, run, walk, run, walk, run, walk, run. You know, kind of, but I'm still in the ballpark, even though I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit tired, I think, because of all the training yesterday. Uh, but I'm still hanging under 16 for the walk and under 11 for the run, but kind of on the high, high side of 10s and high side of 15s, because I'm. Uh, Definitely a little bit fatigued and I haven't eaten again. So I'm like, uh, you know, I definitely fast this first workout and it's, uh, I don't know. I think it's definitely making me tougher <laughs> and my body's learning, but some days are a little sluggish. So this, uh, I was feeling good when I was sitting in the apartment, but once I got moving, I just felt a little bit sluggish. So I'm going to go get some food and then, then head to yoga. <laughs> All right. Just finished my workout. I'm pretty freaking pumped up, man. When I uh, when I was in my uh, I took my, I took a decade off in my 20s to party, and you know I'd been a pretty you know I'd run pretty seriously in high school, and I had a little 
naggy injury when I started running in the, at the JC and I quit running and I started partying and having fun and chasing women. <laughs> it was pretty fun. Uh, but anyway, this is, so the, the drinking went on for a decade and I remember I started to get back in shape. You know, you hit that low and you just know you got to do, you got to turn it around. So remember I looked in the mirror one day, I said, I'm more than this, I'm more than this. And uh, I started training again. And I remember I, I'd run for about four or six weeks. And then I was running down this road and there was mile markers, right? And I go, hey, now you gotta remember when I was in high school, I ran, a, my best time was like a 443 mile. You know, I was fifth in the county. I mean, I, yeah, I was, I was, I didn't realize how good I was because we had one of the best guys in the state, but I was pretty good, you know? I mean, not necessarily Olympic caliber, but pretty good. And, uh, and I went out and, uh, and this mile mark was there. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay the wood down. Now I've been training for four or five weeks or six weeks. And I ran it, and I ran a nine minute mile. And I was like, oh my God, what have I done to myself? What have I done to myself? <laughs> I, I, I thought, I, I was so shocked. <laughs> anyway, I just ran a 9.15, roughly a mile. I got my hour in, I, got a, I, got a, I had to run, I had to go to yoga, so I turned up the, turned up the heat. I'm running late for yoga, turned up the heat and I ran close to a nine minute mile. And now I'm like, yes, yes, it's so awesome. <laughs> Before I was like staring at the noose when I, was, when I was 30 and did it. Now I'm like, yes, I just about ran a nine minute mile. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I have the tiger. <laughs> hey, isn't it funny? I don't know if you guys noticed it, but I sure did how I was like all sluggish and not feeling it this morning. And then all of a sudden when I realized I was running late for yoga and I need to haul ass on the last mile, then it's like, wow, I was doing like my best Kenyan impression. <laughs> Maybe one of the slower Kenyans. <laughs> Pretty amazing how the mind is, isn't it? All right, just got out of beginning yoga. I love beginning yoga. <laughs> Even though I'm three weeks into it, and so I'm a Riley veteran, I still love beginning yoga. I don't know, it's just mellow stretches. I really like it. And uh, it just like leaves me a lot of energy for everything else I do during the day. And I think it's accomplishing what I want, which is just to get more flexible and get a further stride out there. And you know, we they're always working the hips, working the hamstrings, working the lower back, which is, those are the things I was told you need to, to go faster, walking and probably both running too. I was mostly asking about walking, but probably for running too. All right, just dropped Furley off at my sister's house. Going for my third workout of the day down at Schollenberger Park again. That's a two mile walk around the, the marsh that, uh, I seem to be doing it in the dark lately, <laughs> but I kind of like it. <laughs> All right, heading for the marsh. All right, third workout. Sometimes it's a lonely road. <laughs> Just doing a couple miles around Schollenberger Park. <sighs> like to beat the crowd. <laughs> or, let the crowd beat me, I should say. All right, just finished my third workout, two mile walk. I was a little, little slower than normal. I think I didn't have my watch though to, to push me. I love having that uh, GPS watch. I left it at home, so had to go off a of feel and it's like pitch black out here, kind of weird to feel. So I, uh, I was probably about, little under 17 minute per mile instead of under 16 minute per mile, but I'll take it. I have the tiger. So check this out. I just added this in my car right between my steering wheel. <laughs> my, my mantra, just to remind me, 
I am so happy and grateful that I am the world's greatest extreme endurance athlete who motivates millions of people and makes millions of dollars a year. I am so happy and grateful that I am the world's greatest extreme endurance athlete who motivates millions of people and makes millions of dollars a year. I just keep reading that and reading that and reading it. I got it at my house. I got it in my car. I'm putting that into my subconscious mind. All right, uh, me and Furley just got home. It's 10 o'clock. Furley grabbed a little bit of food and he goes into like the little spare room over there. I think he thinks it's his room. So he goes in there and he eats so I won't steal it back. <laughs> We've been out of food before around here. I thought about stealing some food from him, but not tonight. So and speaking of food, I was light today. I got, you know, by the, anyway, I was light. I, uh, I was at 1400 calories. I could have ended the evening easily at 1410, but I just ate a banana to get to 1500. Cause other than Friday fast day, I don't really like being under 1500 calories. Cause I start, I can get my body into that starvation mode. If you do too much, that's just too little of calories for how much training I'm doing. So I was at 1500. I just what it was one of those days where I wasn't that hungry. Kind of the opposite of that fast day. Remember that fast day? I said, I said, this isn't fasting. I'm starving today. <laughs> that was a that was a tough day. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Let's put another let's put another link in the chain. Under 1800 calories. Look at this, Tascobia over here. I'm gonna be so skinny. Like I said, I'll turn sideways and you won't be able to see me. 